This demonstration, I'm going to show you how to draft the patch pocket and then apply it to the pattern piece. So this here is a little patch pocket, which means it's just added to the top of the garment. And if you look at the pocket, it's actually got a little facing, a grown on facing onto the garment. So it actually folds over and sews inside the pocket. Um, and so that's the shape. Now patch pockets can be any shape, but this is the style that we've decided to create. So with that in mind, this is the draft and you can see here, this is the position that we'd like the pocket to be in. And these are drill holes and these are marked on the draft so that they can then be traced and placed onto a pattern so that then when the sample machinist is making the pocket, she knows exactly or he knows exactly where to place that pocket. So the position of the pocket is a designer's choice, but in this instance, what I'd like you to do is measure down from the center front neckline from here, actually, which is the center front neckline, down five centimeters, and then with your pattern master, come in, making sure that this is sat on the center front line, come in horizontally three centimeters. That is going to be the first key marking position of the actual pocket. Then the measurements of the pocket have been created like this. So measuring down from this position again on the center front line, the next pocket position is actually 4.25 centimeters down here, and then we've got three centimeters in again. And this is how these positions have been created. Now these measurements were actually taken from a, a real shirt of mine and then what we actually did is measured where it was on the garment and then obviously because we're working half scale we've just half the measurements. But that is how you quite easily create these drill hole positions. But firstly what we'll do is we'll draft the pocket and then we'll place this onto the draft. So if I just move the draft up like so this is the measurements for the patch pocket. So, as mentioned before, it is actually taken from a real pocket. So, the width of the pocket is gonna be 4.5 centimeters in the width. The actual length of the pocket is gonna be 4.25 centimeters. This area here is going to be the actual grown on facing. So this becomes the fold line here, which goes inside the pocket. And then from the center point, of this width here, from here to here is gonna be five centimeters. Now, if I give you these measurements, I'm sure that you could go off and create the pocket, but I'm actually going to show you how to draft it because it's all about using the pattern master. So, the first thing that we are aware of is we need a horizontal line, and we know it's gonna be 4.5 centimeters long. So. If you divide 4.5 into two, you get 2.25 centimeters either side, and that equates to 4.5. So if I mark myself a, mis uh, a middle point like that, and then 2.25 here, and then do the same on this side of my pattern master, then I know that my pocket is equal on both sides, and I've already got my middle point. It's at that point that I would expect you to get your pattern master setting this line on the horizontal line that we created, draw in some vertical lines. <coughs> like so. Then we know that actually, from this position down here, the length of the pocket, we want it to be five centimeters, so I can measure down five centimeters. Like so. Then again, I would square across like that. Now I know the depth of the pocket is 4.25 centimeters. So again, coming up to this position here, making sure that this is set correctly, and I'd come down and I'd come down to 4.25 like so. And once I've got that position, then sitting my pattern master on this vertical line here, and I've got the position there, I'd square across like that. Then I know that these measurements here and here and here and here are the same. It's then very easy to then generate the pocket. So draw in that point to sew and that point like that. 
it just means then your pocket's symmetrical. Now the other thing that you need to be aware of is the depth of the facing. So we know we need to come up 1.75 <coughs> centimeters, excuse me. Same process again, making sure this is set on the horizontal line. Come up by 1.575. Putting your pattern master on here, on this line here, because it's a nice um, vertical line. Then drawing straight across, and again, this measurement is now the same as that. Very straightforward, and then we've got the same here. Just to bring your attention to here then, this is the actual pocket itself. Apply half a centimetre seam allowance all the way around, using again your pattern master and the measurements here, and then you can trace off and create a pattern piece like I have here. I've clearly put my straighter grain running down this centre line, putting straighter grain on, your name, piece name, sample size, cut detail, and I've clearly marked on the drill hole positions like so. That will be the fold line where they actually sews into the pocket. And then if I just go back to the original draft, I like that. Once you've actually got your pocket pattern piece, then it's quite easy because you've marked these two positions on already to then place these on here making sure that those two points are set and you can press down on your draft put these points on and then recreate these points it would always be um, expected that once you've done the draft of the pocket that these drill hole positions are placed on once that's actually done when you were tracing off your pattern pieces for your front, and this is the underarm dart, because if you remember, we're creating a patch pocket on the side with the underarm dart, that when you're tracing off your pattern pieces, you position yourself in the correct position, look through your draft, mark the drill hole positions on at this stage, like so, and then, you cut out your pattern, make sure that they're nice and clear so that when the manufacturing process takes place and the pocket is applied to the actual front, this is done before the dart is actually uh, sewn together because if you did it, if you actually sewed the dart together on your fabric and then applied the pocket, what would happen is the pocket, the shape actually changes because obviously if we look at the real example here this actually gives you a dart, it takes the 2D garment into a 3D shape, creating this bust dart here, and uh, it would be very difficult to manufacture and place that onto the fabric. So the rule is, while the pattern piece is flat like it is and cut out in cloth, then you'd actually put your pattern on like so, manufacture and sew it on, and then you close the dart.